Welcome back to another episode of What to Eat. On today's episode, we're going to make some cornbread. Some real simple, easy cornbread. I know a lot of y'all like to buy that little box cornbread and I think it's delicious, but wait till you try this easy recipe. For one main reason, it's less expensive than buying the store-bought cornbread in a box. And the second reason, you can adjust the flavor to be exactly the way you want it. You can always change it a little bit to your liking instead of the way they want you to do it. So with that being said, let's see what we need today. We're gonna need a mixing bowl. We're gonna need one and one fourth cup cold milk, one cup of yellow cornmeal, one cup white sugar, and one cup all-purpose flour, two tablespoons of bacon powder, one large egg, and three tablespoons of melted butter. And this is all the ingredients you're gonna need. And this is gonna take maybe about 20 minutes total to make the whole thing. It's gonna take about five minutes to mix this up and another 15 minutes to throw it in the oven. You want to preheat your oven at 400 degrees. You need to grow this channel. If you like what we're doing, let us know. Leave a comment. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Now, let us begin. First thing we're going to do is we're going to put one cup flour, one cup of flour in there, and we want one cup of sugar. And one cup of sugar. Now what we're going to do is you're going to take the strainer and just hit it together. This is called shifting it together. We're gonna keep doing this until it all goes through the strainer. Until it's completely empty, you see that? Now, we're going to take the cornmeal and do the same with the cornmeal and the two tablespoons of baking powder. Same thing. Just keep hitting it until it shifts all the way through. Shouldn't take that long. Might have little big crumbs in the bottom. You can just push those through. That's done. Now we're gonna put our egg in, our large egg. Make sure it's at room temperature. Get our large egg in there. And with the milk, this is how we're gonna do the milk. We're gonna do it in three parts. You're not gonna dump the whole thing in. You're gonna dump it in in a third. You want to kind of shift this together first. Now we just gonna. You should have a mixer for this. My mixer just broke, so I gotta order a new one. You're supposed to do this on a mixer for about two or three minutes. This ain't gonna work with the whisk. I'm gonna have to go get a fork. Now I'm back with the fork. Just whisk, just combine it together, just like that. Now 
I'm gonna mix it till it starts looking like these crumbs. See these little bit of crumbs. Again, it would be better if you had a hand mixer. But since mine's broke, you know we gotta do what we gotta do. Now we're gonna add a second quarter of milk. Well, a second third, I'm sorry. There we go. As you can see, it's coming together. Now it's more like a little crumbs. This is the consistency you're looking for. This is what we used to call back in, back in the days called elbow grease when you ain't have modern technology. You had to do everything by hand. Still got it done. Coming out nice and smooth, get it nice and smooth. Make sure you get all the corners and everything. So now you got it nice and smooth like that. Now we're going to add the last of the milk. This is when you add the melted butter. Now we're going to give it our final mix. Sure you get these corners too. Don't forget these corners. Because this batter will sit on these corners. Get the bottoms, get the corners, take your time. gets a little tiring when you're used to doing this for a while. I got so comfortable with them machines, this became a job. That should be it. That's it. Nice and thin. It's mixed well. You don't see too many lumps. Everything is moving out. So now we're going to let this batter sit for about 10 minutes before we transfer it into the pan. So I'm going to clean up the table and give it about 10 minutes. When I come back, we'll transfer it and then throw it right in the oven. 
Now we're back. It's time for us to transfer this in. It sat for a while, it thickened up a little bit. We're gonna take this. We're gonna take some parchment paper and we're gonna put this in here. So it won't stick. And then we're gonna spray it with this cooking spray. Get the corners, make sure we don't put it in the corners. And all we're gonna do is just transfer this in. Again, we have our oven on, already preheated to 400. We're gonna, um, we're gonna put this in the oven for about 15, 20 minutes, depending on how fast it's cooked. Uh, it depends on your oven, depends on how fast this rises, whatever. And it depends on you. Depending on if you want it light, dark. If you want it darker, just leave it in a few more minutes. You want a light, take it out early, just make sure it's fully cooked. You don't want to eat raw batter. And the, the test to do that is always take a toothpick, stick it down. If the toothpick comes out clean, it's done. After you take it out, let it sit for about five minutes, let it settle, and then just cut it and you're done. So I'll show you the finished product when it's out, but that'll do it for this week's episode of What to Eat. Thank you for watching us again, and, thank, and hope you join us next week. And remember, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and we do have merch now. So if you want to support the channel, please support us by buying the merch below. Thank you, and see you next week. Peace. I hope that you enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe and hit that notification bell so you will always get an alert when a new video drops. Plus join our website for information on all our shows, trips and getaways. If you would like to support the channel you can do so by shopping at our store in the link below or visit www.whattodoent.com. This video was produced and directed by Putt Toxie and created at What To Do Entertainment Studios.